the Congress seems to be obsessed with the idea of Rahul Gandhi more than the idea of India. Is that true, Kaushik Deka? Is there a middle ground here? There is talk that Rahul Gandhi wants to reform the Congress, or is the part is the problem that it's one thing to want to reform the uh, the party, but then you've got to work night and day on reorganizing the party, which has just not happened over the last eight years. Of course, Rahul Gandhi wants to reform the party, but the paradox is that he wants the reform party first to run it. So he quit in 2019 because he was not happy with the leaders around him or the team that he got. So he is waiting for a team that has to come up, which uh, will work according to him and which will believe in the principles that he believes in. But, but those it doesn't team function that way him. in a political party. But Kaushik, it, it the likes it, it, of Hardik Patel were handpicked by I'm, Rahul Gandhi. I'm, I'm coming to. I'm coming to what he is expecting that these leaders will come to the party and will create an environment where he can function freely. But you have to back your team if you want to uh, reform the party. You mm -hmm. have to start it yourself because you are the leader. Mm -hmm. But he is expecting his team members to uh, enforce the reforms and then he will run the party. And, and I don't know about Congress leaders, but I'm pretty sure that all the people who are covering Congress, mm -hmm. they feel a sense of deja vu, that it, it remains the same. We are discussing the same kind of thing. So you're saying uh, it's power uh, without accountability. Name, name, is that what name, you're saying, Kaushik? Yes, that he wants yes, power it, it, without it, it, accountability. Uh, it is uh, not exactly like that, but he is wanting that first you get a, uh, a reform party and then I will run it. It doesn't function that way. Accountability, of course, uh, accountability question will come when he becomes the president. He doesn't want to become the president as long as he doesn't get the party the way he wants it. And now so there are other problems adding to it. Uh, uh, if you remember, there was a biscuit problem some years mm -hmm. back in 2015-16. And now there is sandwich problem and God knows what will be the next. So you know, those are, Rahul Gandhi seriously seems to be having food problems. No, no, you know, that, that is in a way, of course, being used by Hardik Patel to sort of hit, uh, lash, at, uh, lash out at Rahul Gandhi. But the truth, <coughs> therefore, is, na banunga na banne dunga, Supriya Srinath. Yes, so long, it is, it is so long as, so long as the leadership does not take, uh, so long as the, this leadership deficit remains, the likes of Sunil Jakhad and Hardik Patel will make pot shots on your leadership, saying we don't have a leadership and therefore we are leaving. And the BJP is a very attractive option for whatever reason. Therefore, how are you going to fix the problem? What will a Chintan Shivir do that the last eight years have not been able to achieve? So, to specifically answer the question on the two individuals or, or many like them who have gone to the BJP, with all due respect to the individuals and the choices that they make, I do not want to comment on people who are so ideologically compromised and can make this somersault, this 365 degree turn in a matter of 24 hours. I fail to understand how they do this because here you are opposing an ideology, what your idea of India is versus what their idea of India is and then you suddenly go and join the camp. I really don't understand that. Having said that, I do want to say one thing specifically. It was said here that the Congress believes in the idea of Rahul Gandhi, but Rahul Gandhi believes in the idea of India. Please point out, and I will, and I will take, and I will ask a very tough question. Please point out one other leader who consistently holds this government accountable, who raises the tough questions, despite all the cases that you may want to lodge against him, despite all the smear reputation campaign that you want to unleash against him. He's a, he was right on Corona. He was right on China. He was right on the economy. He's asking you the tough questions. But question. you don't win elections. The best way to shut but you up don't around win elections. is to do what the BJP is doing. Let me finish. But you don't please. win elections, ma'am. At the end so of the I'm day, I'm leaders are respected yes. in politics when you I'm win elections. To that point. Yeah, I'm coming to exactly that point. I agree we are not winning elections. And I know that some of these problems arise from the fact that our electoral winnability is low. But I'm reasonably certain, and I have no doubts in my mind, that after the Nav Sankar Shiver or, or the many mm -hmm. changes that the Congress is looking to make amidst our own mix by getting younger people in decision-making process in responsible positions, I'm reasonably certain that the index of opposition unity for 2024 or the index of opposition unity for state elections will be spearheaded by the Congress. Okay. And Rahul Gandhi himself is going to play a very important role there. Okay. I agree we are not winning elections and which is why this debate. But please understand one thing, Rajdeep. We cannot become what we oppose. Rahul Gandhi is right. You cannot be obsessed with power over values that you stand for. Okay. I mean, Sanjay may have an issue with this ideological fight. I don't. 
I joined politics because I believe in okay. this ideological I, fight. Because okay. we believe in the values that we stand for, I, which are being trampled by a power-obsessed government every single I day. Will, 